morning, friends. Happy Friday. It is 6.27 a.m. to be exact, and I just pulled up to my WW workshop. I wanted to hop on really quick and wish you a happy Friday and let you know a little bit about how my week went before I go in for the workshop and to weigh in. So this week, there's a sentence, there's a saying, there's a slogan that I can say for this week, and that is, you win some, and you lose some. And that is exactly how this last week went for me. I won some and I lost some. So first let's talk about what I won this last week. So I won the enjoyment of not only my anniversary, but also my birthday and my husband's birthday. And I also won at the gym. I went to Jazzercise four days this last week worked my hiney off. It felt amazing. I actually went yesterday. I'm going again today. It has been such a great thing. Like I say every week, I'm loving it. It is something that I really enjoy and that's great because that means that it's something that I'm going to be able to stick with, which is always important in an exercise routine. And I also won in the fact that I cleaned out my pantry. I got rid of all of the snacky things that I don't ever eat, cleaned it out so that I can start introducing a little bit more whole foods like I've been talking about the last couple of weeks. So I had three huge wins this week, but I also had some losses. And right tied along with my birthday, my husband's birthday and my anniversary comes a loss because I had all the things, cake, going out to dinner, alcoholic beverages, pizza, burgers, you name it, I had it this last week. There were so many celebrations and indulgences that it was super fun, so that's what made it a win, but it was also not so fun on my weight loss plan, which makes it a loss. So I indulged, I enjoyed my birthday, I enjoyed my trip to Leavenworth, I enjoyed my anniversary, but I backed it up with some really good healthy eating days and a lot of exercise. But that's a loss for me this week. I lost a little bit in the WW Green plan way this week. That doesn't mean that I threw in the towel for the entire week. There were just moments and occasions that just I had to go off my plan in order to take part in those occasions. And I'm okay with that because I know that I did my best to pick up the slack a little bit, so to speak, in my exercise. So that was my week. There were good. There were bad. I don't know how it's going to be when I step on the scale. I don't imagine that I'm going to have a stellar weight loss. But you never know. And on top of that, I'm just wrapping up that time of the month because as I mentioned last week, I start always the day before weigh-in. So I actually just barely wrapped up yesterday. So that could play a part as well. So I guess instead of talking about it, let's go in. Let's stay for the workshop. Let's weigh in and I'll be back to share all of the results with you. Hi friends, welcome back. I am out of my workshop and I'm gonna share with you the topic that we discussed and my weigh-in. So the topic was so on point for Thanksgiving right around the corner. Today, we discussed portion control. And before I get into the four tips that WW shared with us for portion control, I wanna share a couple of my personal tips or things that enter my mind when I am thinking about portion control. And one is the size of the plate, the bowl, the dish that you're using. The smaller the plate or bowl, the more of a portion you feel like you're getting. And it's harder to overeat on a smaller plate unless you're building a huge tower of food. It's a little more challenging because you don't have as much surface area to put your food. So one tip is choose a smaller plate when you're watching your portion control. And the other thing that WW or the old Weight Watchers, I remember this from years and years ago, and I actually think about this quite regularly, and that is on your plate at any event or anytime you're eating a meal, think island, not continent. So instead of putting a big, huge pile of mashed potatoes on your plate, put a smaller pile of mashed potatoes on your plate. So in your mind, build islands on your plate, not continents, and that really, really helps with portion control. So the first thing is, is find the right portion for you. What is it that you want to eat? Are you going to really watch what you're eating? Make sure that you load yourself up with a little bit more vegetables than the starchy item. Also make sure that the portion that you're eating is going to satisfy your hunger, but also stay within your smart points. Now on Thanksgiving, there are a lot of people, myself included, I don't track on Thanksgiving. Now I don't go absolutely hog wild crazy and eat everything under the sun, but I'm not going to track on Thanksgiving. It is one 
one day. And remember, you guys, it's a holiday, not a holiday week, a whole a month. It's a holiday day. So if you are like me and you just enjoy yourself on Thanksgiving, then feel free to think about some of these other tips when it comes to watching your portion control, but still eat all of the things that you love and all of the things that you only get once a year. So the first tip from WW to stay in control of portions is serve yourself. A lot of times when we're with our family on Thanksgiving, our mom or our grandma are serving up our plates for us. Just volunteer to serve yourself. That way you have control over the portions that you're putting on your plate. You can really load yourself up on the lower point options and just have a taste or two of those higher point options. And in fact, it is a proven fact that the first and last bite tastes the best. Your mind doesn't really register all of those bites in between the first and the last. So if you load yourself up with those indulgent foods, maybe one or two bites worth, that's what your brain is going to register as delicious and satisfying of those foods. So keep that in mind too, that your brain doesn't necessarily register all of the bites in between the first and the last. So if you just serve yourself one or two bites of your favorite high point foods, you still get to indulge and feel satisfied and you still got to have those foods that you only have on the holiday. And now Number two kind of goes hand in hand with number one. You can still weigh and measure your food if you're serving yourself. So you can break out your food scale. And if you are somewhere else for the holiday that they don't have a food scale, they have measuring cups. 90 million percent of the population has measuring cups. So ask for one. Ask for a quarter, a half, and a full cup. And you can always measure out your own food. And that kind of goes, again, hand in hand with serving yourself, is you have a little bit more control over your portions if you weigh or measure. Now, if you're not tracking on Thanksgiving, I don't think that it would hurt to still weigh or measure, or at least use those hand measurements that WW teaches us to not overindulge on those foods and be mindful of the amount that you're putting on your plate, even if you don't have the option or you're choosing not to actually weigh and measure your food. The number three tip is track your food. That's a given. Everyone who follows WW knows how important tracking your food is. Now, do I think that it's absolutely necessary to track on Thanksgiving. Not if that's not what you want to do. I personally, again, will not be tracking on Thanksgiving. I will be being mindful, but I will not be tracking. But every other day this week, the other six days of the week, I will absolutely be tracking my food. So it is important in order to be successful on any plan, you have to have a calorie deficit. And to ensure that the foods that you're eating are going to put you in a calorie deficit, that's where tracking your food comes in. And it ties right back to weighing and measuring, and it tries right back to serving yourself. Because restaurant portions are huge. But if we're serving ourselves, we know exactly what we're putting on our plate, thus putting in our mouth. And the fourth tip is decide what works. What works within your smart points budget? Maybe load yourself up a little bit more on some of those zero point foods. Build your meal around those. Put a little extra veggies on your plate, a little extra fruit, a little extra zero point protein, and build the rest of your meal around those items. A little bit of potatoes, a little bit of stuffing, a little bit of dessert. And that way you are indulging still, but you're staying within a relative number of smart points that's going to still still put you at the end of the week in a position where you're going to see some results on the scale. So those are the top tips from WW as far as portion control. And remember, you guys, it's a holiday. So if you want to enjoy yourself on Thanksgiving, I you have weeklies. You have dailies and weeklies, and you certainly can't go too far over that number by enjoying yourself on that one day and indulging in those foods that only come around one day a year. I know for me, my mom's sweet potato casserole is amazing and it is not WW friendly. It has all the things. It has heavy cream and butter and sugar, but it is so good and my mom only makes it on Thanksgiving. So you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to be having some of my mom's sweet potato casserole on Thanksgiving. Now, am I going to have it the day after Thanksgiving? Absolutely not. I am going to enjoy it on Thanksgiving and I'm going to enjoy that time with my family while still being mindful of my portions. So now let's jump right into weigh-in. So like I mentioned, there's some good, there's some bad, there's some wins, there's some losses this week, but I did have a little bit of a rough week when it came to my food choices. Again, because of my birthday, hubby's birthday, anniversary, when I stepped on the scale today, I was up one pound. Now, do I want to gain a pound? Absolutely not. But am I okay with that pound? 
Yes. And let me tell you why. Because, you guys, I enjoyed my birthday. I enjoyed my husband's birthday, our anniversary. I enjoyed our trip to Leavenworth. But I still backed it up with going to Jazzercise. So I still feel like, considering everything, I had a good week overall with exercise. Now, could my food have been better? Absolutely. But I'm okay with it because my birthday, his birthday, our anniversary comes once a year. So I indulge on those days because it comes once a year. Very similar to the Thanksgiving holiday. It's once a year. So I am back on track. My goal for this next week is to track and stay on track every day with the exception of Thanksgiving. Now, Saturday, as you know, is the day I use my weekly. So unfortunately, I will not be doing that tomorrow because I need to save those weeklies for Thanksgiving so that I can enjoy myself on that day. So that is my goal this next week is to track honestly all week, stay within my points on the green plan and indulge on Thanksgiving and on Thanksgiving only. So that is my plan for the week. And hopefully when I step on the scale next week, which speaking of next week, let's talk about that briefly because of Thanksgiving. So you guys all know my weigh in day is Friday, which is the day after Thanksgiving. So I know myself and I'm not going to want to step on the scale on Friday. Let's be completely honest honest. After indulging on Thanksgiving, that is not where I'm going to want to be on Friday. So my plan is, is to attend the Wednesday workshop. Now, of course, I don't have an entire week under my belt for results when I go weigh in on Wednesday. But my goal is to weigh in on the Wednesday workshop and I will upload on Friday as usual because the topic won't change between Wednesday and Friday. And I'm still going to go to my workshop on Friday. I'm just not going to weigh in. I'm actually going to weigh in on Wednesday. So chances are I won't stay for the workshop. I'll just weigh in and head out the door because that way I can stay and really hear about the topic on Friday for you guys. But video will be up Friday as usual. It will just have Wednesday's weigh-in results part of that video because I'm going to enjoy my Thanksgiving. I'm going to watch my portions, but I'm going to enjoy my Thanksgiving. So I want to hear how was your guys' week? Was it what you expected? And what is your game plan for Thanksgiving and portion control? So definitely leave that in the comments below. I'm excited for Thanksgiving. I'm happy to spend it with my family. I'm actually working out at Jazzercise when, or Thursday morning before Thanksgiving. They call it the huff and puff before you stuff, which I love. So it's a workout at 8, 10 in the morning on Thanksgiving and I'll be there. And that's going to set me up for a little more success for the Thanksgiving holiday. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'd love it if you would take a moment and join my community here on YouTube. It's a fabulous place to be. You may also want to check out my Facebook group. I'll put it right here for you. We have about 11,000 members and we share a lot on that Facebook group. There's great ideas, inspiration, motivation, support. Support. It's a great place to be. So we'd love it if you would join us over there as well. So hit that subscribe button and that bell so you're notified whenever I upload. Thumbs up this video if you like these weekly weigh-ins and leave your comments down below. And all in all, you guys, it's a holiday. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your time with your family. I, I am so incredibly thankful for each and every one of you. You have no idea what you guys mean to me. Seriously, the world. You guys mean the world to me. So from the bottom of my heart and with a lot of love behind it, happy Thanksgiving. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.